Hi everyone and welcome, John here. In my last video I talked a little bit about how to get information from the web by scraping HTML tables uh, using requests and beautiful soup in Python. Um, what I didn't go into was how to save that data that you get out from your script and, and put it into a CSV or an Excel file uh, and that's what I want to cover off today. So to start, here is a script that I used last time. It's, it's changed very, very slightly. It's now within a function, it, but it works exactly the same sort of way. Um, so if I run the script, we can see that we get the league table out uh, with the name of the team and the points that they have in a dictionary. So that what we want to do here is we want to be able to use this information and put, export it to Excel or a CSV file um, that we can use it elsewhere in our system or whatever we want to do. <clears throat> so to do that, we're going to use Pandas. Now, Pandas is a really, really powerful, really big library that is used an awful lot in data science. Um, we're basically just going to barely even scratch the surface here, but it's it's a really good way to get um, information in and use it and um, and work with it in different ways. So to do that, we need to import Pandas, and the standard is as PD. So once we've got that imported, we'll just save and make sure everything's fine. Now the way that you get information in pandas is through uh, into data frames. Now you can kind of think of a data frame as like, if you imagine sort of a, an Excel spreadsheet, your data frame is, is similar, it has rows and columns, and you can control how many rows and columns and, and what they're called and what they do. Um, so what we want to do is to use the list that we have here that we created, a table list um, that has all this information into, in it, and we want to put that into a data frame that we can then export to a CSV file or an Excel file. <clears throat> so if I get rid of this print statement that we don't need, we'll save that. Okay, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take the output of our function uh, which is called get league table that takes the URL. Um, I've commented it out here, um, but I've got it here, and it's the data is our variable. So get league table, and then here's the league table here. So we're going to take the output of that, and we're going to put it into a data frame. Uh, the way we do that is we uh, name our data frame. I'm just going to call it df uh, is equal to pd dot data frame all uh, with both the capitals there. Uh, open brackets, and then we're going to pass in our data variable here. So if we run that, we should get nothing out because we have not specified any output, but that shows that it has worked. Um, the two easiest ways to see what's in your data frame is by using the .head or .tail command. Um, and we can do that just like this if we print that out, df.head function. Um, and you can put in a number here of how many lines you want to see. The default is five, and we're going to leave it at that. So if we post that out, we get the top five teams. Now remember, it works on an index of a zero index, so the first one is zero. Um, but you can see we've got our teams here, and that is the top five and the points that they have. Works the same way with the tail. We run that, we'll see the bottom. There we go. So that's nice and easy. Now the way that we would get this to export us, export for us to CSV or Excel is quite simply df dot to uh, CSV and then we'll call our CSV name and we'll just call this league table dot CSV and we will also do a DF dot to Excel so we get both formats we'll call that league table dot X L S X and we will put a little print statement at the end so we know that it's finished and we can just do save to file. So if we do that and run both of those over on this side we should see two new files be created. There we go. And here's the CSV of the teams, team name and the points with our uh, header, our column names that we've got here which was the names of uh, the keys in our dictionary all the way down to the last. So that's a really useful way that you can store your information that you use for your that you get from your web scraping scripts. Um, so hopefully that's been helpful to you in some way. Um, let me know anything in the comments if it's not or if you want to know a bit more or anything like that. Just give me a shout and I'll, I'll try and answer your questions. Cheers guys. Bye.